Hello children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Thank you for always coming back to this channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if this is your first time here, you're welcome. God bless you. I see the Lord opening doors of relocation to some of you. This is what the Lord revealed to me today. The Lord is opening doors of relocation to some of you. And this move is going to be a strategic move. There is a purpose behind it. There is a purpose behind it. That is what the Lord said. It is going to be a strategic move. The Lord revealed some things to me about this move and I'm going to be sharing them with you today. But before I go into that, the Lord also revealed to me that for some of you, it is going to be a geographical move, relocation across countries, across states, from one territory to another territory. While for some of you, God is moving you from your current job to another job. God is changing that territory for you. He's moving you from one career to another career. Praise God. Uh, the first thing that the Lord um, revealed to me is that the relocation is going to be a way of escape. For those of you that this word is for, the Lord said that the relocation is going to be a way of escape. I don't know what is coming, but God wants to move you out before that thing happens. I feel like something is about to erupt where you are. I feel like something not so good is about to happen. But God is going to use the relocation as a means of escape for you. Praise God. The second thing the Lord revealed to me is that for some of you, the Lord is moving you to where your spouses are. God is moving you to where your partners are. Where you are is not where your partner is. But God is moving you to the meeting point, to the place of connection. Praise God. The Lord also revealed to me that he has already done the background work. And this point relates to, to some of you who might be saying that, oh, I don't have the resources. I don't have the finances. I don't have the skills that is needed. I don't have the experience. I don't even know anybody anywhere. But God said he has already done the background work. God has been working behind the scenes, putting things together. And now he's about to reveal these plans. He's about to execute his plans in your life. Praise God. The Lord also revealed to me that there is a bigger and greater purpose behind this move. Like I already said, there's a bigger purpose behind it. Apart from the fact that for some of you, you are going there to meet your spouse. It's a means of escape, but there's a greater purpose. God wants to use you in that place. He's moving you to that place to, to shine. He has a work for you to do. There is a big work. There is a greater purpose for you to accomplish in that place that the Lord is moving you to. Praise God. He also said that this relocation is going to be a way for you to experience him in a whole new way, in a new dimension. God is going to show himself to you in ways that you have never seen before, in ways that you have never experienced before. So look ahead, look forward to it. God is going to be showing you things you have never seen, experiences that you have never had. Ephesians 3.20 says, Unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. God is going to be giving you things that you have not even asked for. He's going to be revealing things to you. He's going to be unleashing your skills, your creativity, many ideas that you didn't even know, you don't know you have. He's taking you to a place of enablement. 
a place of enablement, you know, where there are systems that would enable your skills, that will bring out the talent in you. It's taking you to a place of massive support, where you will have support to do the things you have been called to do, where you would have access to resources to do the things that you have been destined to do, the things that you have been created to do. Praise God. The Lord is taking you to this place. Praise God. The Lord also said to me that for some of you, there might be resistance at first. You might meet, you know, wars, resistance, rejections at first. But the Lord says, do not doubt the word. So this is just like God giving us heads up, you know, what to expect so that when it happens, you won't lose hope. You won't, you won't feel like, oh God, but you said this. Why is this now happen? God says there might be resistance at first. You know, that just reminded me of the story of the children of Israel. When God said it was time for them to leave Egypt, there was resistance. I mean, Pharaoh refused to let them go. There was resistance. There was rejection. But God, God's word came to pass. He brought them out of that land with his mighty power. God is going to bring you out with his mighty power. So in, in case you face, um, in case you experience rejection, in case you face disappointment or resistance, do not think that the word is not true. God already said it, that there might be resistance. But his word will prevail. God is going to make a way for you. He's going to provide everything you need for this move. In Jesus' name. I pray this word blesses you. I pray it encourages you. Look forward to the fulfillment of this word in your life. Do not doubt. Do not doubt. I know one, one key thing that some of you, that might cause doubt for some of you, is provision, is the resource you need. But God has said that he has done the background work. He said he has already done the background work. And I believe that the resources is part of the background work. The help you need, the documents you need, is part of the background work that God has already done. Praise God. I pray this word blesses you in Jesus' name. Have a good day. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.